Hi, this is Future Me introducing part one of this two-part video on doing a front disc brake replacement. Uh, this is on my 83 F-150. Uh, this re uh, brake job will include new calipers, of course, uh, pads, uh, new rotors, and the uh, inner and outer wheel bearings and seals. Everything I'm going to show you here uh, will apply to rear disc brakes uh, as well. The difference being um, how the uh, bearings and you can also use all these same procedures for front disc uh, or for uh, a front wheel drive car uh, with the exception of you're not going to be messing with the wheel bearings and such. So let's get started. One of the first steps prior to disassembly is get your wire wheel and drill. Dust mask like this style. Safety glasses. Uh, these wire wheel, these little whiskers fly out of here and um, they just like to go to eyeballs. Clean up. Uh, anything that's going to be reused or any surfaces. Um, now, again, these calipers are going to be replaced, but they're going to slide in here. So anything that you can clean off prior uh, to disassembly will just make the initial step of the disassembly so much uh, easier. And then um, once you get it fully apart, go in there and clean clean up all of these surfaces and parts. Gonna uh, push these pistons in and knock these calipers off. Um, actually, you know what I'll do? I'll take off, I'll take this line off and that way when I push the piston in, it'll stay in. Um, you wanna do that first. Uh, yeah, so since I'm changing calipers, I'm going to change, I'm going to just uh, knock these, knock these uh, lines off um, and push the pistons in and they'll come right off. When you are reusing the same calipers, you need to open the bleeders because when you push on one side, you, you, like let's say you go do this side and you go to the other side, um, the, oh, and the other thing is uh, also you clamp the uh, clamp the pistons in also if you're reusing because when you go from one side to the other that pressure all just if you uh, push a piston in on one side it's going to push it out on the other so if you're new to this not done that before um, you need to know that so I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, stuff broken down and taken apart. All right, so with the uh, bleeder open and this line also, I went ahead and crack loose. You can go ahead and just um, push your piston in and that way the caliper will come right off nice and easy. So just to kind of show that in progress of taking that retainer and slide out um i don't have the means to like do it do the action and film it at the same time i just i need to get a nice little tripod um anyhow you just start banging on this area here with the hammer and as you can see this piece just will chase right out the back with that pressure clip on on top of it and then the uh, caliper will lift right off Okay, both calipers are off now, as well as the rotors. I've got the surfaces cleaned that the caliper slides back and forth on. Uh, next will be to clean those. And I'm not sure if we can see it there, but you know, these bearings were starting to show a little bit of uh, heat damage. Um, at some point, and I think it happened a long time ago, but see, that's an indication that the inner, inner race uh, of the bearing 
was uh, was spinning, and so you have to have proper grease and proper loading. Uh, you do not want the inner portion of the bearing uh, to spin. I think this happened a long, long time ago. Uh, I'll get in here and clean this a little bit more. Uh, we want all these surfaces clean, uh, primarily right here, but it won't hurt to clean that as well. Uh, but that's that's what the seal rides on. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, here's what the um, the pads look like, and you can see they are heat cracked and very 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 thin. Uh, so um, which is going to in turn make them just transfer um, a lot more heat uh, back into the. Uh, the caliper uh which you know can cause the piston to to seize and again those rotors are not in the best of shape and you know uh, i generally don't turn them this is how i will turn them is if i am going to replace a set and the set i pulled off is in good shape good enough to turn i'll turn them and that way i always have a hot spare but finding a machine shop, an auto repair shop that still knows how to turn rotors and drums is is almost impossible. Um, you got kids working in most of these places that um, you know when you get they give you a rotor back, you get um, you know you're getting a razor back, um, not a rotor. Uh, you know that's the thing when you take a lot off of these. You know, you're making them thin again. Uh, the heat dissipation is not going to be as good. So um, I just go ahead and replace them. So I'll get on to that next. We're going to knock out whatever races came in the new ones, which are over there, um, and replace them with new uh, uh, the new races that came with the, the new bearing sets. And here's uh, a new rotor that comes with a race installed but you're not going to use that you are going to knock out both races and replace them with the races that come with your new bearing sets um and generally referred to as cups and cones um here's the inner inner bearing and it's it's race here uh, I will attempt to show you how to knock those. Again, I'll have to probably show a little bit, s describe it, and then uh, just do it because I won't be able to hold the camera and do it at the same time. And this is your inner seal. I also meant to add that um, now this one, I don't see it, but there is, well, there is a lot of times they come like heavily coated in oil protective coating to keep them from rusting you will need to use lacquer thinner on both sides of the rotor to clean the uh protect that grease and oil off of there you do not want that on there with putting the new brakes on bad 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 so um lacquer thinner on a rag and get that uh, cleaned off and just remember two things with the chemicals we're working with lacquer thinner you get that on a rag do not put that on any painted surface and same brake fluid if you didn't know it if you don't know it brake fluid eats right through paint it is i swear it's better than paint stripper so uh, yeah word of caution be very careful with your rags uh and brake fluid and uh lacquer thinner Okay, uh, to get the races out, you're gonna take a drift, probably one smaller than this. I just grabbed this just so I could shoot this video. Uh, but you're gonna take a drift and catch it on the uh, inner lip of the race. So yeah, I can tell I'm gonna need just a small one to just get right up in there. And you're gonna hammer it and it'll pop out and then you'll flip the rotor over and then do the same thing 
to get to catch on that one. See the shiny part? Um, the same thing. You're going to hammer that one out. Just catch the lip with a drift, and then you'll use a... Da -da -da, I just happen to have it sitting right here. Uh, you'll use the proper size um, die to um, drive the new uh, races in. And it's easy and fun. I like doing it. Okay, both uh, inner and outer races that came with the new rotor uh, have been knocked out. Um, had to use a medley of actually had to, I think catch it first uh, on both edges with the uh, with the chisel and then I think I alternated between those two there to uh, uh, to knock them out you just kind of as long as you can get an edge and start knocking it down then you start rotating it and you can get um, and get the other uh, you can get it all the way out and then flip it over and do it again when you're knocking the uh, the smaller the front one out, You'll need to uh, tip tip the uh, the rotor because the uh, the race will be right flush with the surface that you're working on. I like to do this stuff on the ground, um, but uh, you won't be able to knock it all the way out. So you'll need to, once you get it ninety nine percent of the way out, you just kind of tip it and give it a little tap, and it'll come out the rest of the way. So uh, next will be to put in the uh, the races that came with the new bearing sets uh then pack the bearings put some grease in the uh down in the inner hub down there as well a little bit of uh grease for it to grab should it need it and uh, i just need to pick the right uh let me size that up and get the right size uh driver for the race All right, so I've sized both the, uh, now this is the old original race that I knocked out. So, yeah, make sure you don't put the same one back in. That would suck. So, uh, just for filming this, I'm just showing that. So, that's the uh, outer and that's the inner. And then, you know, you that and a hammer and you get it centered in there and, you know, tippy tap and then start you know getting it in straight and then drive it in so we get the old ones out of the picture and uh get the new ones driven in so you're going to take your new race that came with your new bearing set again they call these cups and cones you're going to set it set it in there and then grab your race driver and start to tap that uh, in. Um, you go kind of easy and sometimes you have to like leverage it a little one way or the other and start getting it going in straight. And then once it's, once it's uh, centered itself, then you can just, you know, whack away on it and, you know, bing, bang, bong. <laughs> it doesn't take much to get it in. And then the sound will change to kind of a I mean, like a dull thud when it hits the bottom and then flip it over and do the other one. So same thing for the outer one. Grab your, set your race in there. <laughs> Make sure you got it faced <laughs> tape with the tape again, both sides with the tapered smaller side inside. Um, set your driving tool down in there and switch to wide angle and again i can't do this hold it and knock it and film at the same time but um you'll get the idea just kind of get it to go in started straight and then bang 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 and then you know it's just a few hits and then uh, you know that it'll thud out and you'll you'll know you've hit the bottom all right, all the races are in. Bearing packing is the next fun, messy job. Um, so what you do is you're going to get, 
a good glob of grease and put it here in the palm of your hand. I put it in my left hand and use my right hand to work the bearing. And um, here, let's see if we can sort of demonstrate. I'm gonna hold the hold the camera here, phone with between my knees. So you're gonna get the grease, get big globs there. Then you're gonna take the bearing and I put the backside or the outside, the big side down, and then you just keep going around like that and get the grease to gush out. It should all be packed in here and gushing out around there. Uh, and then wipe the grease out of, you want the inner portion that's gonna go on the spindle those dry and um, put some grease down in the hub there uh, and uh, you know get you're gonna get this in first a lot of times folks get ahead of themselves and I've probably done it myself where um, you go ahead and you put the seal in without um, <laughs> putting the the bearing in so Go ahead, make sure, check, check, recheck, uh, get your bearing packed and in, then put the seal in. So I'm going to pack these things and um, well, let me see if I can start to, if I can start to show this. So I'm going to get, get a good glob here and then you take the bearing And you just start doing this. And as, when it gets packed, you will start to see the grease coming up in between. See it right there. So you just keep doing that till grease is coming out really good in between. We can start to see it now. And then you take that and you put it back here and you grab some more and you go around and you just keep doing it till it's thoroughly all the way in there all the way around so I'm trying to do this so it, and we can see it coming up in between really good now in that space in between see that coming out so do that till you you know it's thoroughly in there and then you'll again, you wipe that completely clean um, with both the inner and the, the outer. So that one's just about done. I'll do a little bit more, but I just want to turn the camera off for now so I can get my knees back. So um, see if I can do it with my knuckle. All right, bearings are all packed, inner and outer. Got grease down in the hubs, um, but not too much so that, uh, you know, so that ends up hitting on the spindle on the way uh, coming through because we just want the spindle where the bearing rides and, and um, uh, on both the inner and outer, we want them dry and the inner race just sitting right straight on that so you can see I've clean that up uh, the inner and then next I would go ahead and oh I've also got a you know I went ahead and got a nice layer of grease on the outside of it bearings all packed I'm gonna drop that in there and then the seal will go on and then I'll grab the um, 
this race and seal set die and we'll tap that in and then do it again for the other side. All right, so there is the bearing, inner bearing and seal all installed. And again, you use this to, to tap on it, get it centered. It will probably always try to tip and go, you know, go in a little crooked. And once you feel it start doing that, you just kind of move the, move the tool and you're kind of just doing little tippy taps um, and you kind of and move the tool over to, Kind of put a little bit of extra on that side, and then when you feel it going in, go ahead and center it, and and just you know like tap tap, and the thing is, thing is in. You'll hear the thud change, and know it's, know it's all the way in. So that's all there is to that.